Hello everybody and welcome back to X4 where we are arriving at our destination with our slightly explosive package and I did just save the game in case anything goes catastrophically wrong because this seems super mega ultra safe. We're going to just hop out of travel mode here real quick autopilot. and turn off the autopilot. Okay. So we're going to come in over here. Now, it bears noting that our less crappy ship is a little far away because I didn't realize this was a jump gate. It is a jump gate. Our less crappy ship is going to be jumping through it presently. And it will be making its way over here. So if we have to bail in a hurry, we can just teleport over to the less crappy ship and get out of there. So hopefully that won't be too bad. And also hopefully the less crappy ship won't get, you know, slightly blown up by some of these... Uh, Patriarchy ships over here. <laughs> that would be awkward. But for right now, I don't think that's going to happen. So we're just going to head on in, because I'm pretty sure that uh, the reputation change applies to the less crappy ship as well. It might get blown up a little bit on the way out. We'll have to see. Docking granted. But we're going to dock up over here, and uh, shenanigans will ensue. Uh, where are we docking at? I don't know, but this thing does not break very efficiently. Noted. Okay. <laughs> That's exciting stuff. Ah, we're docking here. Do we have a docking computer? Odds are pretty good that the answer to that question is no. We're going to utilize some thrusters. I'm pretty sure we're going to need to move pretty heavily forward. Actually, not that much forward. Okay. Well, we're just going to come right on in over here. Wonderful. That was one of my better docking attempts, I gotta say. Probably because I actually took my time. Okay, so we're docking here. Now what? Successfully docked. Looks like you got promoted since our last station takeover. Ready to liberate another station? Patriarchy security didn't learn much from last time. Low up. Okay, so now we're supposed to undock. Wait, now we're supposed to redock. Solar power plant. Now we're supposed to wait. Thank you for your continued support. Station is under Argon control. I repeat, station is now under the territorial sovereignty of the Federation. Okay. That's nice. The slave revolt is spreading to a couple of other stations nearby. Awaiting orders. Okay, we're waiting. Are we supposed to be docked while waiting? That's the question. See, so yeah, that's Argon now. RHA. The Rock Patriarchy. Interesting. Okay, well, we are just going to head down and see if we're supposed to be docked. I'm not sure if we are or not. We could just leave this boa here. Well, this seems to be our boa now, perhaps. Successfully docked. Boa. Yeah, we're just supposed to wait here. It's an honor to have you aboard. And so we shall. Now, I do want to do a couple of things. We're going to head over here and see if we can't find ourselves a manager for the... Uh... You're part of the Rack Patriarchy? I'm not talking to you. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> I guess that guy didn't get purged. Are you part of the Rack Patriarchy? Yes, you are. Well, I'm not talking to you. Again, fair enough. Are all of these members of the Rack Patriarchy? Kind of looks like it. Maybe we can head to, like, the manager's office? That might be a thing. Greetings. I mean, 
Speak There's no one here. Fortune. Under the impression this was under the control of the Argon Federation, not the Court of Curbs, but okay, whatever. I guess that's fine. <laughs> to the security office. Is there anyone here? No. Patriarchs, weak and traitorous. Thy art no more. Rock took over Patriarchy. I've noticed. No creature oppose reign of curbs. Free families decide to submit to victorious curb rule or perish. She's right. Patriarch Zyarth was overthrown by one of his subjects, a patriarch by the name of Rock T -t -t -k. The Rock Patriarchy declared an armistice with the Curbs. They saw where their war would lead and decided to put an end to it. There are already tensions between the Curbs and the Argon Federation over slavery, but as long as the Curbs don't attack Argon stations, there won't be an all-out war. Okay, we got the achievement Curbed Ambitions. Mission completed. So the question now is, are there any more? Let's head over into our quests over here. Okay. In defense of the patriarchy. Yeah, no, we're not going to defend the patriarchy. Interesting. So I think that is the end. The restaurant is now open for anyone wishing to dine before departing the station. That's nice. So. We're going to start pulling the less crappy ship out of here. We don't need to bail in a hurry. So we're going to tell it to start moving down towards the HQ. I don't know what we're going to do over there, but we'll just start moving that way. And then we're going to teleport to the HQ ourselves because I want to do a couple things. I want to recruit two people that we Enterprise already employ here, obviously. Exchange. But uh, people, where are people? There should be people. I'm sure there's people somewhere. Hi, you're a people. You will do fine. I, help. I want you to work somewhere else for me. Specifically, I would like for you to go grab that boa. Be the captain. Acknowledged. He'll turn up there eventually. Wonderful. And when he does turn up there, we want to tell the boa to, I don't know, auto trade for some sort of a station. Perhaps for the uh, the Reach SM Morph? Sure. We'll have him do that. Free ship is free. Now, the other thing that we want to do is we want to hire another person. Well, we don't need to hire him. We already employ everyone on this station. But uh, we want to find someone. You look like a Marine. Hello there. Yeah, you're not particularly good at management. And by that, I mean you're not good at all at management. We want to find somebody, ideally, who can manage. I wish I could just jump that wall. That would have been nice. We want to find somebody who can manage. And are you that person? No, you are not. Because we need someone to manage the uh, Paranid station. I mean, we could just hire a random person. Oh, hello. Can I help? You will do. I'm sure the Paranid will be perfectly okay with a Taladi being in charge of their station. So we're going to have him be the manager. Confirmed. Wonderful. And off he goes. Fantastic. Getting something out of storage here? Is something coming in? Not sure what's happening here. Regardless, let's check in real quick. I actually wasn't expecting the uh, split storyline to end quite that abruptly. But, I mean, it, it makes sense. That's a decent culmination. Like, the, the previous patriarch was overthrown. That didn't seem to do anything in terms of our relations with the... Uh... If you bring any creatures on board, please make sure they are chained. Any loose animals will be vaporized on site. That's an interesting policy. <laughs> Depends on how you define animal, I suppose. But, yeah, it looks like the Rack Patriarchy just is a complete drop-in replacement. We're at minus 22 opinion with them, so that is definitely something that we need to be slightly concerned about. Okay, well, let's check in on the status of the Paranid Symbolic Triumvirate here. 
it is definitely in progress. This this pier over here has finished up. It's working on some container storage. Fantastic. We're going to take a quick look. Yep, we're going to accept that estimate. Our top priority right now is, in fact, on getting this set up. What do we have coming in right now? Hmm. Not a lot. Just some Claytronics and hull parts. Okay. Well, we need a lot there. And we also want to go into our logical overview here. Because we want to put some money into this station account... So that once it gets made, beggars are operating on this factory. Please do not encourage these professional beggars. If you have any spare credits, please give them to a registered charity. Fair enough. So we are going to go into our logical overview here, or not the logical overview. I meant to go to the information for the parented symb symbolic triumvirate because. Well, that's that's exciting. I'm just going to zoom out. There we go. Because we want to toss in at least a few million credits, like we'll we'll call it like 10 million. Wonderful. That way, once we can start getting our turrets and shield components, that will absolutely happen. It is going to be quite a while before the Paranid Station is complete, though. There's no doubt about that. So in the meantime, we could start working on some of our other projects that we've got going on here. I'm just going to move these Eclipse Vanguards into our fighter storage fleet for right now. And these Nemesis Sentinels, we do have a number of them currently. I mean, many of these things need to be sorted in, and we need to figure out exactly what loadout each of these carrier groups need to ha needs to have, right? So that is something that we definitely need to do, and I probably want to standardize Egosoft these groups. Would like to thank you for buying their product. You're welcome, Egosoft. I'm also going to teleport somewhere else, because these uh, notifications are getting a bit much. We're going to teleport over to the uh, less crappy ship, which is, of course, in the personal fleet. So we're going to teleport over there. And we'll see where we are right now. Entering system. Two grand. Two grand. Okay. Not too bad. We're making good progress, son. Fantastic. So yeah, I think standardizing this and getting this all set up is probably something that I will do off camera. And then I'll just explain how they're set up. And we also need to start working on our next set of carrier groups, right? And we may want to combine all of these together into a single fleet rather than having them d divided up into carrier groups like this. And I think that's probably something that we want to do. But for right now, let's go ahead and there's no ship trader on the reach large, extra large shipyard. Interesting. Let's take a look at the logical overview here and see what we've got for drones. Okay, that's going fine. Hmm. So we definitely need a ship trader here. Do we have our... Yep, we do have our fabrication bays. Good to go. So we're actually going to have to go back to the uh, to the HQ here. And <laughs> so we shall. It's exciting stuff. Because we need a ship trader. Now, I think the engineering stat matters for the ship trader. I think that's the important one. And that's the one I've been prioritizing. But it doesn't seem to make nearly as much of a difference as having, like, drones does. This guy's just charging off, but he's not quite a full engineer star. Hello. Two-star engineer? Yes. Yes, you can. You can be our ship trader on the Reach Large Extra Large Shipyard. No, not manager, ship trader. There we go. Fantastic. So off she goes. And we will teleport back to the less crappy ship so that we don't keep getting yelled at for buying the game. <laughs> Entering I do like that, though. That's, that's kind of entertaining. Okay, so let's go ahead and build some ships here. Well, it's actually going to take a little while for her to get there. Entering system. Yes, indeed that Office is. Center Alpha. 
I find it interesting that the captain already made it to the boa, though. That's fast. Like, that is real fast. These Mercury Vanguards, I think we're going to go ahead and send them over to... We're going to send two of them over to the SM Wharf. And then we're going to send one over to the Reach SM Wharf. Wonderful. Actually, what do we have trading here? It looks like that was substantially less. In the Alpha group, interesting. So I think we need, let's see here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then two of those. So we could use another Mercury Vanguard and another large trader as well. Fine. Why are we just kind of chilling? Let's check our behavior here. Ply and wait. Okay, now we're not chilling. Exciting. So, we do need ourselves some things here. Now, Mercury Vanguards are going to be a long, long time to build because we have a big old queue, right? So, that's something that we should definitely hold off on. But, we can definitely build ourselves a couple of... No, not plan build. I wanted to build ships. That was my own fault. We're going to pull back here, and in the large shipyard, we are going to build ships. We're going to build a couple of large ships, and... Let's see here, which one do we want to go for? This is the one we have previously, and I went for that because it had 45,000 container storage. The BOA is definitely a little faster. Do we not have the blueprint for a BOA? Fascinating. Yeah, that's a very, very small container storage capacity in the Helios. Heron is pretty small as well. There's the Pelican, which is almost comparable. Selene, Shiyaku, and these two over here. Yeah, in terms of raw cargo capacity, Incarsaturas are the way to go. So we will just get ourselves two of those. And we'll confirm that. Fantastic. So I think that we should definitely reorganize these carrier groups. And we should rename this then to the GE fleet. Because realistically, these carrier groups, they're not quite what I want them to be. So the carrier will definitely be the main attraction here. Let's go ahead and unassign all of these. So we'll remove those assignments. Wonderful. So this carrier will now get all of these fleets. Wondering what happened here. Let's just go ahead and remove all of these assignments. I'm not sure if that did anything. Okay. <laughs> Exciting. And that's a duplicated. Fine. What are we apparently being attacked by? This guy? It's a behemoth vanguard. We should just bail on that for sure. We're going to be popping over to Silent Witness, so we'll be leaving Split Space soon enough. Excellent. So we definitely want to reorganize all of this, and I guess the best way to do that would just be to do that. Now that does put these in fleets, which is slightly awkward, but that's okay. So we want to remove basically everything here, including from the fighter storage fleet. So we're going to remove all of these Eclipse Vanguards. Wonderful. And we don't care about these docked ships. That's all fine. 
We're going to go ahead and remove this guy. We're just going to reorganize the fleet, but I'm probably going to not finish this on camera and we'll get the fleet reorganized off camera. I'm just going to be moving them all into the same fleet with the uh, the raptors being the primary members of the fleet and the uh, what what are these carriers called again? Colossus. The Colossus vanguards being kind of a bit more point. If that makes sense. So we'll remove all of these, and yeah, that just creates these additional fleets. That is to be expected. This is going to create a big mess for right now. Oh my, speaking of big messes, just going to zoom out on that one. Okay. It'd be convenient if we could just click on the fleet and remove all orders and assignments, but alas, that is not a possibility. So we're just going to expand all of these, in theory. Wonderful. And as we reorganize this, we'll make sure that everything has its maximum amount of ships as we put it into the fleet. So we will go ahead and remove all of these assignments. Wonderful. And as we continue crafting, I mean, I'm going to leave the game idling for a while, although I'll have to be kind of careful about that because I have a feeling that the, uh, I have a feeling that the mission is going to automatically proceed and I kind of don't want that to happen when I'm AFK. <laughs> that would be kind of defeating the purpose. But for right now, we'll just get all of these unassigned. And this is, as I said, going to create a massive mess. And that mess is something that I will sort out off camera. So we're going to continue to remove these. That gives us these behemoth vanguards. Fantastic. And we're going to be essentially recreating this inside of the fleet structure. Okay, so we now only have the one fleet. And that does, of course, mean that we have roughly a million ships here that are not sorted in any way. Perfect. <laughs> and with that, I think my work is cut out for me. So I am going to put a cut in here. And next episode, this will all be sorted out and we will have the faction capital nearly completed. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.